Sweet. Look, I got, I, I got some We're sabers there. Now. I got some sabers there. Oh, sweet. I like it. And it's Henry Yoki, how are you? From the one game I went to this year before the world closed. It's yeah, that was pretty sad. Sweet, bros. That's pretty sweet. Like that. Nice. Where's the logo? The cover and the logo. Beard That's bro. a nice logo. Yeah, it's like a fake background. Obviously, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This is my real background. What's up, dudes? Just got done fishing. Nice. Put in Not 35 feet of driveway this weekend. A tire fell off my four wheeler. All good stuff. I saw oh. that. How'd that happen? The axle nut walked off. That's a bad time. <laughs> yeah, it, it happened last night <laughs> at like midnight. But mess up all the threads on it then? Or? I was able to thread it back on, get it going. Uh, <laughs> luckily to limp it back home i That's did bend the shit out of the brake rotor like it's it's all crazy ben so that's gone but i took the rotor off put man. the spindle back on and went her back you don't need brakes on four wheelers anyways it's brakes. Uh, that's what trees are for <laughs> i've done that <laughs> <laughs> nice so you guys ready you guys ready huh? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. I got it right here. Pull out my cooler. Gary, Lime. Oh, look at that. Adam's got oh. three. In the amount of time it takes us to drink one, Adam's going to drink oh. three. So, Adam, before we crack these open, you got to say what it is, where it's from, and tell us a little bit about this beer. Yeah, I was going to look it up on their website here. Because all I know about beer is I either like it or I hate it. And my knowledge stops there. I know it's a sour. I'm a big fan of sours, so it's a sweeter stuff. You are a big fan of sours? I am. I like sours a lot. Good deal. Good deal. Sours are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a fresh release here. Just came out yesterday. Oh yeah. What they did, yeah. So we yeah. got it. We got it the first day. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They uh, they opened up at noon. I was there picking it up about about four o'clock, three o'clock, something like that. Wow, that's pretty cool. Fresh beer. Yeah, I'm trying to nice. find their on their website here what they a little bit about it, but so they don't have nothing. 4.5%. It's pretty good for a sour. About average. So, so it's from Pressure yeah. Drop, Adam. Where is Pressure Drop? Pressure Drop is on Van Landia in Buffalo. It's connected to the barrel factory. They've got uh, liquor. Or, uh, they sell vodka and stuff. Pretty cool building. Pretty cool area down there in the old first ward. Right next, we're almost across from Gene McCarthy's, if you've ever been there. Nice. Yeah. Very Irish nice. Neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. We do the uh, St. Patrick's Day float. It goes right, a parade. The float goes right through there. It's a lot of fun. Well, I mean, Sweet. I know Adam, awesome. Adam's been waiting to open this because I wouldn't <laughs> let him until we did this. So Sam, his fiance, like cracked one open in front of him and drank it. And she's like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, she oh, gave that's it. rough. She, she gave it out five on untapped, which is which is kind of cool. Which uh, I I only have like two beers I've ever had that I ever give a five to on untapped, so I'm pretty excited. Was one of them that beer. was one of them that cucumber beer? It is, yeah. Also for pressure drop, the Selenia. Yep, that's a that's an awesome beer. It kind of tastes like those cucumber Gatorades. It's good stuff. I think it's time. I think it's. I'm I'm so Adam. ready. Adam's twitching. Over. I'm the one with Tourette's, and Adam's the one twitching. <laughs> All right. Oh. Woo. oh. That's good. It smells sour. 
Nice red cup mm -hmm. color. All right. We probably should pour them in glasses and look how pretty this color is. Instead, we'll just pour it in our mouths. There you go. Cheers. All right, cheers. Cheers. That's actually pretty good. That is, is. sour. That that's awesome. Like that is yeah, that's a that's a very good sour. That is a that's a fantastic sour. I uh you get a lot of the cherry flavor. Not a lot of limeade though. No. Maybe get down more in the can. Yeah, but it's nice because, like I said before, I don't like really like hoppy beers. Um, this You're one, gonna have a hard time with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that I love hoppy beers. Of, I a lot of a lot of IPAs. And... It's harder to find. I mean, uh, sours are pretty easy to come by, but if you don't like hoppy beers, man, I mean, you know, I you, know what, you know what it is though. I like. I never like sours either. Um, Sam, you sort them all the time. That initial smell, getting past that smell as you take the sip, takes just a little bit to. What are you doing? Takes a little bit to get used to, but I, I love them now. You, you know, you didn't like the smell of the sours at first. No, I didn't. No, I think. Uh, really? Yeah, you know, I, I'm all. I like fruit and juice and stuff like that. Yeah. That, that first, that that sour, sour ale smell. It gives a little bit to. It. The smell was a little bit to overcome, but after I got through that initial part or the, through that smell, I started hammering them. I've been drinking a lot of them lately. Or yeah, <laughs> they're good. I used to be the same way with IPAs. See, that's all we gotta do. We gotta get Perkins just in the club. We gotta have him drinking some more IPAs, and he'll enjoy them. I'm, just like I'm sour. not a fan of IPAs or like really. Really hoppy beers, but hey, I maybe the more I drink them, the more I will like them. There you go. I mean, they, you never know. They do grow on you. They will. So, so Adam, what are you going to give this on Untapped? Mm. Is this going to be the beloved five, or is it not as good as the cucumber one? I think of a. I go like a 4.5. Ooh. It's good. I, that, that cucumbers, it's too good. See, I will have to rate this higher than the cucumber because really? – I know you gave it a 2. I don't I think gave, you know how the rating no, system I'm works. I'm pretty sure I gave it like a 2.25 or something like that. That's still like – that's what wow. I get Bud Light. I get Bud Light like a 2.25. <laughs> and you gave the amazing cucumber Selenia a 2.25. That's rough. I was not huge on it, but maybe we'll have to do it again with Grant. We'll do it right on here, and uh, he can try it out. You drank the whole thing. That means it's got to be at least a, a two and a half. I mean, it's a beer. If you so finish it, it's got to be at least a two and a half. What's that song, Grant? Because if you pour one down the sink, it's alcohol abuse. You know that country song? You're talking about the one by, uh, I can't remember. It was by Luke Combs. or It's yeah. a newer one. Yeah. That's you guys it. lost me at the country. Yeah, I can't remember. Why do we drink? Because if you pour it down the sink, it's oh. alcohol abuse, so you got to drink it. True. Why do we drink? I just more. more. Sing it for yeah. us. Yeah, I'm not singing it. Maybe next time. <laughs> I'll bust out my guitar. There you go. You got to do the intro for the podcast. That's why we drink. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we have to hire Ronnie to do some singing there. Yeah. I just play the guitar. <laughs> oh, I think this is going to be a fun thing. Yeah. This is good. I, I could do I'm going to I could drink beer and record myself drink beer every day. Oh, get, yeah. pe get people to watch us drink beer. So, it's cool. soda jerk, cherry, limeade, sour ale from Pressure Drop. What, what? I'm going to be honest, you know, I'm going to give you my score. It's going to be a, going to be a little tough on it. 3.75. All right. It's good. That's fair. 
Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Think why, I you actually, go, why do you go lower? It, it, it's very good. Um, five is like perfect. Five is, I'll drink this beer until I can't drink anymore. <laughs> Pretty much that good. Anytime. Or, or a five is, is, is uh, it's good enough that you just have just one and then you move to mm-hmm. something else. You can't, you don't want to waste them. You don't want to drink them all. That's true too. Oh, I, I was balanced between three point seven five and four. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably I'd keep I'd probably my three point seven five. I'd probably put it at a, a good solid four. I'm sticking with the four or five. Hey, that cherry flavor is pretty. I have to tell you, though, I mean, this is only my second sour that I've ever had uh, after that Selenia. So, sure, I'll drink more of them, be able to compare. Yeah. I I don't want to give it a perfect score because I just don't know what else is out there. I guess that's fair. So what are we going to do? Are we going to do a different beer from a different brewery every week, or you know maybe do the same you know a different beer from the same brewery every week? Uh, Just a different beer. I don't think it matters where it's from. Yeah, any any different beers. Any beer uh, from uh, anywhere. People can give recommendations to a beer we should rate. Like, yeah. what's that? Uh, pizza review show on Barstool. One bite. Is that what it's called? Is that what they call it? Uh, one bite. Dave Portnoy. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Everybody knows the rules. Yeah. So move everybody. over because this is one sip. <laughs> Taking over. One chug. We got Grant, one chug. Everybody knows the rules. Grant Perkins and El Vice Presidente over there. Move over, Portnoy. <laughs> Adam's coming for you. It is good. That's, that's easy do, drinking. Yeah. Like you could do one chug because, I mean, he does eat the entire slice of pizza afterwards, and it's not like you're going to take one sip of beer and be done. I'm going to drink all three no, of the beers. All two. Sam just stole one. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's a six-pack in, and I have half a beer gone. <laughs> six-pack. I, I drank quite a bit more than that today. What would you get into today, Grant? You working? Yeah, I work today, so uh... – you know, my drinking's been limited since I got out at four. Okay. Well, I've got about five. Five in. Not too bad. That's not bad. I drank uh, – No. I drank one of those ones from the Bronx Brewery yeah. that, that you gave yeah, me. Yeah, no, you were supposed to save that for our next review. I, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to save it or not, so I drank it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if he just gave me these to drink or if we're doing something with them, so I'm just going to drink. Oh, Grant, did you get the ones that I made? I did. I got them uh, right next to me, actually. Oh, yeah. So, so I, which, just haven't had, I just haven't had them yet. Which one is which, Adam? So the red cap is the amber ale, and the green cap is the IPA. Both are uh, an extract beer, so it's just like a – a super concentrated sugar you boil out into water and then put more water on top of it really the amber ale does have some steeping grains with the i think there was one hop addition to it in the mash or in the boil i did i did dry hop my next ipa today which will be bottled next weekend and then that'll be two weeks before you can drink it that one should be good that's gonna be a it's like a fresh wish clone. This should be grapefruit, pineapple flavor, nice. super hoppy IPA. You're gonna hate it. Uh, uh. <laughs> I I liked pineapple, and then you said super hoppy IPA, and I'm like, no, not that. Uh, uh, it sounds good. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I, I took I put when I was dry hop today. I poured it in, and I just took the bags from the hops, and just stuffed it to my face. That hops smell amazing. Adam's walking around with that bag. It's his I have one right here. So we'll, we'll have to do a review of Adam's beer one of these weeks, and we'll just mess him up. That's fine. Hey, yeah. be harsh. 
I, I want to – the, the, the two that I gave you guys, those will be okay. Uh, the one that I'm got down in the basement now fermenting, it's in its secondary fermentation. Oh, you're going to go with one of mine, huh? I am. The IPA. You know, we'll, there you go. We'll, we'll review it right now. Oh, ah, <laughs> there you go. Not even waiting. It's better in a glass. The bottle's made of glass. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good for a uh, – you said this was just a home brew kit? Yeah, yeah, simple kit. And it's a, It was a brew demon kit for a two-gallon. It actually was made in one of those super cheap uh, two-gallon Mr. Beer containers. Oh, maybe we should get Mr. Beer to sponsor us. There you Some go. Free sponsor money. Uh, I'd rather go with Northern. I'd rather go with Northern Brewer. They got a ton more stuff. <laughs> so Grant, they the do. Way, They're very. Uh, yeah. The way you said it's pretty good made it sound like Adam was like the fastest car in the slow lane in terms of brewing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. It's actually. It is actually really good for. Uh, homemade IPA, especially, it is very. And that, good. that's my third beer I ever made. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be, uh, first one was the American Light Ale, and then I made the Amber Ale, and then that one. We might have to uh, over here. Stands over here, cracks yeah. cans open. Yeah. <laughs> Perkins, you said you didn't have it yet. I have. You didn't not try it yet. It's in my. Oh, fridge. you're going to hate it. <laughs> 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 it's not real hobby, so that one's not too bad. The, it, it, the, no, it's not. The all the the, uh, the extract kits, you don't get to lot. You don't get to play them. You don't get to flavor them. They are what they are. So yeah. both, both those beers are both just straight extract. The amber ale was a little bit more involved. Um, the one I got going now is also an extract. Actually, I have two going now. I need to bottle an oatmeal stout that I made, which I just oh, nice. need to do. So. I got the oatmeal stout. I got to bottle it, and then I got to do, and then next weekend bottle that that um, fresh squished, freshly squished, fresh squished, something like that. Nice. Yeah, I'm super pumped for good. that one. Sweet. So now, <clears throat> when you guys are, you know, just relaxing or hanging out at bonfire or something, if you don't have a craft beer with you what's your go-to like what's your uh you know run run down the convenience store pick up a 30 pack it depends uh not like two-thirds of the year i would drink bud light i'll drink stack cans to the ceiling every night now in the summer blue light limes that's my jam that's my summer jam blue light limes yeah (laughs) don't like the bud light limes the blue light limes I crush those things. Only some yeah. they have, they have like a, a time period where they fit in. They do, oh. they do. You know, the nice, nice summery time of the year. Why are you perky? When I'm kicking back, there's nothing better than a nice cold Corona in a bottle. You put a little wedge of lime in there. Oh, that's my go-to. I love it. You got to wear a mask to drink Corona now. I think. Yeah. I believe that is true. That's what I've heard. I just like stick the IV in my arm and let the corona flow. Wow. <laughs> you must be immune. What do you what about you, Grant? I choose Molson, Canadian. Since 1786, the Molson family has continued to make beer the Molson way. <laughs> uh also Beard Bro, sponsored by Molson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that'd be sweet. Or, or Blue. I I like Molson and Blue. Molson's pretty much my go-to, but Blue is strong second. I'll drink any so. beer if they send us a free case every month, huh? Huh? Oh, that's good. Probably could get that. Could get Blue to do that around here. So, hey, fine with that. S- we got to start getting some more famous people than the three of us on here. <laughs> Well, seeing how this is the first one. <laughs> I, I drove past the Labatt House yesterday down there next to the arena. Oh, yeah. you did? Yeah, I went through pressure drove. drop, and then uh, I had another pickup at Resurgence, bought all the beers that they put out and a couple others. 
Uh, had the Bronx Brewery show up at the house as soon as I got home. But uh, after a surgeon's, went over to Fat Bob's to get some barbecue and went through Cobblestone District and reminisced of all the times you could actually be outside and be at bars and restaurants. You're actually yeah, allowed- back, you mean back in the day? <laughs> you're allowed to be outside right now as long as you're riding. So. Yeah, I don't have enough energy for that. I'm just going to sit back and just drink some beer. I sold no, it's sad what's going on right now. So. I got rid of my motorcycle so I could get a four-wheeler, and the wheel fell off. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a beer, though. I had a beer when I, went, when I was out there. You have another beer. Beer makes everything. Yeah, I got a bunch more. Beer makes everything better, though, even if your tire falls off. Your wheel. I feel like there could be a country song there. You gonna play? I think there might be. You're gonna have to pick up guitar. Grant's got the look. He does. Could throw the old cowboy hat on. <laughs> that that'll be for Rocket. episode three. Yeah, episode three. Grant What's that? Cowboy hat. Episode, episode three. Episode three. Cowboy Grant. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no, that'd be that'd be something else. I wonder how many people are gonna want to sit around and watch three dudes drink beer and BS. You got nothing else? Oh no! I mean, it's probably more than we think. That's true. There. Sam wants to drink. I beer. guess that this is a good promotional time. That's right. Sam's trying to. Bust her way into beard bros. Yeah. She's got to grow a beard. If she, if she gets like a fake beard, sometimes she just walks in. It's all hanging down. <laughs> Your beard is weird. <laughs> uh, so I guess now's uh, a good time to tell people to like our Facebook page at beard bros on Facebook. B E E R apostrophe D bros. Sponsored by the Brocast Network, where bros can be bros. Yes, I was waiting for it. I thought you were gonna lead with it. <laughs> Love it. The Brocast <laughs> Network. Yeah, uh, you, you gotta put that background back up when you say that. Now I gotta find it. It's taking too long. Not Whoa. that one. <laughs> Not that <That's>... background. <laughs> You should have a broadcast network uh, low background uh, too. Yeah, you, Switch to put, you should put underneath it like a broadcast network production. This is Beard Bro is sponsored by the Broadcast Network, where bros can be bros. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, the outro for all these should be Power of Perkins. Ooh, it's the Power of Perkins. <laughs> we could always uh, throw it back, hang out at Yankee Stadium. Go to go to Key Bank. I miss that more. <laughs> yeah, I went. I went like when I went to that game when I got that program. That was uh, February 11th, so it was just a, about a month before all this shit started. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people had a lot of plans to go and see the Sabers. Of course, the Sabers didn't have plans to make the playoffs this year. That is true because we could have been watching them. It was so they were so close. It's so sad. Grant, what do you think of that decision by the NHL? How they made it work? Um, honestly, it's it's it's. Um, I think that it's uh it's a lot like a lockout. You know, when the NHL has a lockout and they end up playing half a season and they still give the cup, I don't think that it should count. Personally, I don't think that it should count. At this point, especially with not having, you know, I get it that it's going to be something new to watch. And I might be biased because I'm a Sabres fan too, big time. But, uh, no, I would have just, at this point, I think I would have canceled the whole season. However, I am happy that I'll be able to watch some hockey where I don't know the ending of it yet. Or the result. There you go. Watching the replays so, is great. Unfortunately, you you watch that game, you know Brent Hall's gonna be standing in that crease. That's right. 
It's tough to watch. It is. Watch any of the older games um, with the French Connection? Any of the no. ones from, like, no? No, I Those were some good one. games. I think the last – actually, the last game I watched was uh, part of the the President's Cup year. They had uh, like the playoffs yeah. against, I think, the Devils, I think. I was over not social distancing at a friend's house, hanging out. And he, had the, he had a game on. Uh, some guys that I play hockey with. It's kind of oh, nice. nice see some people and watch some old school hockey. Man. Yeah, that's nice. Not social distancing. Those were the days. Oh, oh no, this was, this was during the, the COVID-19. <laughs> I just did it anyways. Oh, no, yeah. It was more than two weeks ago. You guys are fine. Cool. That's all. All right. Good. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to find something here. I don't know if it's gonna work though. I might have to just wait till next time. Unveil yeah. it. You gonna play the power of Perkins? No. Uh, did you ever see that video, Grant? Oh yeah, I've seen it. I remember Nate Nate John was so proud of it. <laughs> Showed it to me. I bet he would come on here and drink a beer. Yeah. He probably would. Probably would. He drinks beers? Sure. Uh, he drink, uh, I think he drinks beers. Last, I, I think he drinks Bud Light was the last I knew. I know that uh, I won't embarrass him on here. <laughs> <laughs> I, won't, I won't say that I know that he likes to drink Trulies and other hard seltzers. Not that those are girly drinks, but <laughs> well, like like this one. Same. Adam will drink any alcohol. Yeah, that one. In front of him. Uh, that that's my backup here. <laughs> I, I love still have been working outside all day. Kicked back a bunch of Trulies or a bunch of uh, White Claws. Actually, these ones, the lemonade, the lemonade hard seltzers. Yeah. That was really good. I still have never had a Trulies, a White Claw, or any hard seltzer. Wow. I have yet Dude. to have one. There ain't Episode no laws four. when you're drinking claws. Yeah, no laws. No laws. Right out the yeah, window. No laws. Ooh, that, that I could know, be I, four, though. I've gone this far. I've gone this far, so I think that I'm going to see how long I can go before uh, before I accidentally drink a hard seltzer. I think you signed up for this podcast. I think it's over. Well, I thought that this you're is beard bros, work. not hard seltzer bros. <laughs> Whatever. We're, we could do like a, like a one time, we'll buy a mix pack, and you got to try all of them. Just, just to make you drink one. But it has to be beer. Well, I guess Eli Fish is making hard seltzers now. So they are. would that fall under it? Well, I guess you know, we could try. Maybe there's just another video series called Hard Seltzer Bros, and it can also be part of the Brocast Network, where bros can be bros. Bros can be bros. Also... <laughs> Untap re- recognizes my seltzer check-ins, so. We should probably give our untapped name. Yeah, I, was, I was actually just going to open up untapped right here and uh, throw in this uh, pressure drop. Yeah, I'm going give, to give mine my 4.5 because I'm down with pressure drop. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of them. Cool thing about them on Untapped is uh, when you check in, I wouldn't be surprised tomorrow if you got a, a like from them. You know, pretty nice that they go in and they're checking Untapped and they're they're liking all the people that are signing or uh, checking out their beers. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take a video. No, I I, for a photo. I think though. <laughs> I think uh, there it is. I think that we should do our own rating system, not on taps, you know, five star rating system. I'd rather do uh, a rating system of 10, one through 10, scale of 10. One through 10? Yeah. I, I think that would that. be easier. It opens up the window. So. I mean, you, you could. Come, come up with our own rating scale. Yeah, great. I think I, I would. 
I think that would be that's, better. That's, that's Vice Presidente approved. I, I, Vice President. All right. I like it. I like it. I approve of this message. Uh, no. <laughs> Vice Presidente approves this message. So flavor profile here. Going with tart, What's that? cherry. Un Do you have untapped, Grant? I've been on untapped. I don't have a profile yet. But I'm down so the flavor profile that I'm going with is uh, I got a bunch of friends who are sour, sweet, citrus. I'm, I'm mixing the citrus. I didn't get a lot of lime out of this one. I would agree. But uh, it it's actually right. sitting at a it's at a three point nine five on Untapped right now for an average twenty five reviews sitting at a three point nine five. Only twenty five. <laughs> Only twenty five so far. Yeah. Huh. How many how many beers you got there? <laughs> Different beers on Untapped there, Perky. Uh, I think this was my. Oh, hold up, let me go to my profile. Uh, five beers. This was my fifth. Fifth beer on untapped. Adam, why don't you shame me and tell me how many you have? 302. <laughs> so the, the funny nice. thing about that is back in March when the COVID-19 started, I only had 80. I've been going hard. I've been putting in work. <laughs> I, I've been searching, is, for, uh, searching for new beers. Cool thing about the uh, some of the rules have changed because of the COVID-19. So uh, a lot of the breweries are actually able to ship you beer as long as it's within the state. So you can go to like, uh, we've been ordering from Bronx Brewery a little bit. Um, Thin Man's an awesome one for you guys who aren't as close to Buffalo as I am, not you're too far out, but Thin Man's great. They will ship. Uh, I, I don't know if Resurgence does, but a lot of the breweries are opening up a little bit to shipping and the, the laws on that have changed a little bit. Right. Have you been to that one? Make yet? sure I was 21. <laughs> Have you been to Beltline Brewery yet? I have not. It's, it was uh, it was just opening last weekend. I was down there. Yeah, last weekend we went. We stopped at uh, – yeah. we hit Pressure Drop. We hit Resurgence. We went – and then we went on the way back. We stopped at uh, Buffalo Brewing Company. And then Beltline's right next to there. So, nice. Right around the corner. Maybe we'll have to get a Beltline beer then on here and we'll try yeah. one. Be yeah, I be Beltline beer would be good. I have not had Beltline yet. So something I've wanted to try since they've opened. I just haven't kind of been down there yet. Well, I can make it happen next weekend. We go downtown every weekend for beers. Next weekend, Beltline. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Like Sam, if, there's, if there's a downtown left, there might not be. <laughs> They'll leave the breweries alone. No, they didn't. They busted up Rusty Nickel. Oh, yeah? Rusty Nickel's, yeah, Rusty Nickel's downtown, which is awesome. What? Awesome brewery, by the way. I, their beers, I, I, I've – Yeah. I would say their line of beers I've rated higher on Untapped, and I think Pressure Drop might be the only one that kind of rivals it. Everything Rusty Nickel puts out is awesome. But – uh yeah, Rusty Nickel downtown looks. Uh, the picture I saw this morning looked like the door was busted out. It looked like one of the windows bro was broken, but I couldn't totally tell. They posted something this morning that they had uh, random people from the community coming out today, and they were actually cleaning stuff up. Yeah, and we'll see. Uh, I saw in Buffalo and Rochester, people were out there cleaning, and then uh, supposedly tonight there's supposed to be more protests. So. Yeah, there was some stuff that came out. Uh, so we went when we went down to get the beers yesterday. Was like I said, it was like three o'clock or something. Two, three, uh, no, two o'clock. So we were down there and we saw. We went down night. We went by Niagara Square. Didn't honestly didn't even think about it. Just came my normal route home back from Fat Bob's, and uh, there was two people standing there. One guy with a sign. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. There's supposed to be the protest today. Didn't see a big turnout, but I guess things got pretty bad. Yeah, I was watching a live stream of it uh, last night until like 11.30. This dude was just – he wasn't getting involved. He was just filming everything that was going on. It was ridiculous. Right down there in Niagara Square. Crazy. I heard wow. I, uh, somebody in uh, 
from our hockey team shared a text today. It was a little snapshot or a screenshot of Facebook that said uh, that's something they were going to meet at the at the Galleria at 9:45, and they were going to break in at 10, and they're going to take back everything that's theirs. Yeah, because when you're going to go do something, you should definitely put it on social media and let everyone know when you're going to do it. Also saw today that they, <laughs> Niagara police were up. They were going to line up at the uh, outlet malls and that the Chittawaga police and state police were already at the Galleria. Crazy times. Yeah. Well, it is. Good thing we have beer. Specifically this one. Oh, Pressure yeah, drop your Cherry limeade sour. Well, good stuff. Yeah. Well, ended on a good note, positive note. A Molson? Instead of ending it on the riots. Oh. What? A Molson? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, a Molson? Yeah. No. Uh, I was going to say the uh, U.S. launched the uh, first two astronauts off of U.S. soil yesterday into space. Yeah. So good for them. Good for them getting off of Earth while they could. <laughs> Wish I could. But Did you watch that? I did. That was, it was pretty cool. sweet. Uh, I missed that I yes, was by the that, soda jerk. I was watching That's it, but the whole time, <laughs> like, because we had the kids there and they were watching it, and I'm like, I just kept thinking back to like what people were thinking, like when the challenger took off, like the same thing, you know, they're like, Oh, this is so cool. And then obviously, uh, you know, something bad happened and it exploded. And I'm like, I really hope that doesn't happen. It's not like <laughs> similar to that. So it was, uh, it was really cool to watch though. Congrats to Elon. Did you Musk. see? Yeah. If, if Elon wants to sponsor this uh, show and drink some beer with us, <laughs> Well, right ahead. <laughs> we're uh, we're horse for sponsors. We'll, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, Portnoy. Any sponsor? Or Molson. Or op open to all applications. Yeah. Just go to our website and fill out the form. And did you buy the criteria. website? Did no. you buy the website? Beardbros.com. No, no, don't go to Beardbros.com because we don't have a website. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. <laughs> But we have a Facebook page, and you I can told you to buy it. Bro. I went there; it's not existent. We do have a Facebook page. Well, now people are going to buy it. Yeah. Freaking unbelievable. Book. Yeah. I'm not the well, president now, today. I'm vice now president. Now Dave Portnoy is going to. Oh, it is. We'll get it first. Well, now El Presidente is going to buy Beard Boy. Beard Boys. Boys. <laughs> Beard Bros. <laughs> Beard bros. Beard boys. That's a, that's good, too. <laughs> I don't know what your Google search history looks like. That's messed up. <laughs> wow. Whatever. Uh, messed up. Uh, messed up, man. Yeah. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Episode, episode one featuring... In the book. Soda Jerk by Pressure Drop. It's a cherry limeade sour ale. We give it that's, a go. That's Adam. El that's pres right. Vice Presidente. El Vice Presidente. Vice. I'm Andy. We are the Beard Bros. Beard Bros. Sponsored Beard by Bros. the Brocast Network, where bros can be bros. Bros can be bros. <laughs> Which we also run. <laughs> we can and is also looking for a sponsor. <laughs> We're also looking for sponsors. Everybody, we need sponsors. And guess, if you like drinking beer and you have a beard, then you'd fit right in. Or if you don't have a beard. Or if you, you don't have a beard, but you like drinking beer. In July, I won't have a beard. I got to cut it off. However, if you don't like drinking beer, then this may not be the show for you. Check out our other list of podcasts. <laughs> interesting people telling interesting stories. And Hops Bros. Hops Bros, and, uh, which is also about beer. And uh, apparently now Hard Seltzer Bros. <laughs> oh, oh, and Lunch Bros, 
where we, pros. Lunch, where we eat lunch together from a different restaurant. Without Nate Durkee. And uh, I guess last but not least, Ship Bros. Where... Ship Bros. <laughs> Ship Bros. Yes. We you can catch us on there as well. <laughs> you can find us on all the bro shows on the, the Brocast bro Network. Where bros can be bros. Where bros can be bros. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful night. Go Bills. You too. Go Bills. Go Cheers. Bills. Go Sabres. Peace. Next year. Next year. Next year. <laughs> Go beer. Go beer. Go beer. Molson. All right. Goodbye. See you. See you tomorrow.